Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to the Daily Porygonian for our coverage of the Shaman event in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So I'm recording this on March 23rd. Uh, we'll be going through getting the Mystery Gift and um, getting Shaman as well. So this event lasts, I believe, until March 27th or 28th. I will put up the details of the uh, mystery gift once we get to the mystery gift screen here i clicked on the wrong button there so yeah let's head over to mystery gift now it's been quite a long while since we actually played this game on the channel but yeah uh, if you guys missed out the main portion of the playthrough uh, playlist link is in the description box below so here is the oaks letter gift let's get it right now so of course this is the classic mystery gift theme, nothing too special as compared to the one in um, Pokemon Legends Arceus which is absolutely amazing. Alright so yeah that's basically all you need to do as uh, shown on the screen, there is no code required, just get via the internet and we got a Oaks letter. Now this is a key item so you cannot trade this to anyone else so whoever didn't get this during the duration of this event will not be able to get it. Um, beyond this event essentially. Now of course uh, there hasn't really been any um, past history of reruns except for I believe in 2016 when there were like certain reruns of the mythical Pokemon giveaways for the 20th anniversary so like uh, initially you had to go get a code from like GameStop and then um, a couple months later they re-released it for everyone via Nintendo Wi-Fi. So that was kind of interesting, but I'm not sure what is the likelihood of them actually trying to repeat this event in the future. So, you know, if you haven't gotten it, get it now. All right, so let's quickly save here. Uh, we are at 701 playtime, so let's see how quickly we can complete this. I have to get the max repels on. So let me just get that settled. Let's go over here. There we go, max repels. I was gonna buy some before uh, in preparation for this video, but I realized I didn't really need to do that because I had so many. All right, so kind of stranger. Um, let's see if we are still gonna get blockaded. Okay, so just go over here, and we have to get through Mount Coronet to Route 224. Let me size you up. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon, and that's what you should be thinking. Eventually, your world will grow even larger. Okay, what does that mean? I guess we have to unlock the National Pokedex first, so let's, um... Yeah, let I'll settle that and be right back. Okay guys, so yep, I should have done the Pokedex earlier, but now I have seen all 151, so let's quickly talk to Professor Rowan here and get our National Pokedex, and then we can proceed back to the Pokemon League and Route 224 to catch Shaman. So I'm just gonna get, um, speed through this, and honestly, it took me way longer than I expected to actually get the all, all the seen Pokemon. Uh, in fact, it took me about an hour. So actually, let's check the timestamp right after this. So they're gonna talk about Ramanus Park. We will visit that in a future video, but uh, that is not very, you know, like uh, time uh, urgent for now because you know Shaman is a mythical event, and that we really can go to Ramanus Park anytime we want, right? So uh, let's just go into the, oh what. Oh, this is the part where uh, we are introduced to gym leader rematches, so I'm not planning to do any of those in this playthrough because uh, I'm just not a fan of that kind of thing. But anyways, uh, let's hurry back over to, let's quickly save, 756. So yeah, pretty much almost an hour of playtime in between uh, before getting to uh, the completing, sorta completing, the Sinnoh Pokedex. All right, so let's head back to the Pokemon League. I need to get the Max Repel on as well. And I'll be, um, well, uh, I will fast forward the trekking through of Route 224. Simple reason is we have double battles and they take a lot of time. I don't think you guys actually want to watch that. And uh, yeah, it's probably better if I just shortened the video, right? So let's head over there. And um, unlike earlier when you saw the guy blocking that entrance, now it should not be blocked, alright? So, yep, the guy is gone, so we can actually proceed through 
uh, we will be pairing up with another, like, a character. I think her name is Marley. Uh, I am totally... I totally forgot what her name is, but yeah. Okay, so going through this cave here, it will be all foggy once we reach that. And yeah, speeding through here. There we go. So that is the character I was talking about. Somehow, Marley, yeah. Uh, fog disappears when you talk to her, and then it reappears later. No problemo, we have the uh, hidden moves. So let's open that and use a defog. The raptor comes out and helps us with the defog, and yeah, okay, so now we have to get through this, so I will settle all the battles. I'll basically just speed up this entire portion like 10 times, and then I'll meet you guys at the exit. Okay, guys, so yep, I settled the rest of the cave battles. We are now here on Route 224. I'm going to skip around all these trainers as well. Uh, apparently not this guy, but... Yeah, so we gotta battle him, but we are super duper close to Shaman here. Now, uh, I'm, I'm planning on catching Shaman in a, well, luxury ball. Honestly, I would have preferred a friend ball. I think I have a couple of friend balls, uh, but if not, I will just use a luxury ball. So Shaman does come at level 30, so given that our level 100 Napoleon is level 100, we probably should not use it. To attack um, and man come on this guy has like multiple Pokemon three Pokemon okay let's make sure we can one-shot him you gotta be kidding <laughs> just as I was saying we should be able to one-shot him uh, he doesn't get one shot okay so his go bat finally goes down and yep Pelipper great and Drizzle too, so we're not going to use a water type move here, but regardless, let's go with a Drill Pack. Again, need to hit it twice, or thrice now, because he roosted, so... Oh, come on! Yeah, this, this game is just annoying. <laughs> if you guys watch the playthrough, like, um... Because this playthrough is meant to be played with a level 100 starter, so what I did was I traded this uh, Piplup over to my main account, leveled it up to 100 using candies, and then traded it back into this one. Now, the problem with, um, or at least not a problem, the whole point of doing that was basically to speed up this game substantially. And I almost went on the wrong route there, or wrong... Um, Trek or whatever. So yeah, we're almost here. Let's use one more repel, and I just want to quickly get this item here, a destiny knot. So most of the items that I've uh, encountered along the way uh, in trying to complete a Pokedex, I've actually ignored because one day we will go and collect all of them. But anyways, here he is, Professor Oak. Ah, oh, Kelpie G, it's good to see you. Without any further ado, I'd like you to examine this stone tablet. Something just like it was also discovered in the Kanto region. I want to ask for your help in solving the mystery behind it. Okay. Um, I tried deciphering the stone's tablet and engravings. The tablet appears to record the thoughts of trainers who have grown through adventure. That description would certainly apply to you. That's why I'm asking for your help. You've met many people in Pokemon, and those numerous experiences have shaped you into who you are. I want you to sincerely consider who affected you the most along your journey. Tell me, to whom do you want to express your thanks? Well, um, I'm just gonna put me because, well, I'm doing all the work here, so... <laughs> yeah, to me! <laughs> what? You're absolutely certain of it? Yeah, okay. You can't change this, so, you know, this is like kind of like a stamp in the game. But really, I don't... I mean, if I had an option, I wouldn't fill it in on camera, but anyways, yeah. Okay, so there it is, Shaman. Okay, and it runs off. <laughs> yeah, oh, what was that Pokemon? Is it somehow connected to the stone tablet? Well, I mean... Even more significant, a land bridge literally just opened up, so I and flowers started growing everywhere, so 
But yeah, that's probably more significant than the Pokemon. But anyways, so now we're, that we are on uh, this land bridge, sea break path, we just have to cycle all the way. Now, uh, in the earlier versions of BDSP, when you still could glitch, uh, you would be able to glitch your way all the way into the Flower Paradise and catch Shaman that way. Of course, that is no longer the case starting from 1.2.0 and up. So this version I'm running now is 1.3.0 and look at Empoleon chasing us there. That's really cool. So yeah, Shaman is right here. Let's save the game real quick. I am not going to be resetting or soft resetting. I'm just going to be battling it once and catching it, hopefully. So yeah, uh, I really like the Flower Paradise um, battle scene, but unfortunately, since uh, it's exclusive to Shaman, which of course it still does make sense, right? Exclusive to Shaman, but it's a really nice battle uh, arena. So Shaman appeared. Alrighty, so it is time to catch Shaman. Now I'm not. I'm just gonna try to catch it without. Uh, well, without uh, attacking it at all. Maybe a nest ball actually would work since I do not have any friend balls. So yeah, I did say earlier uh, I wanted to try to catch it in a friend ball, but I. I think I was mistaken. I probably only have friend balls on my main accounts. Yeah, so. Alright, let's keep going with the nest balls and see if it works. We only have 10, but still, 10 is a lot to get through. One, two, three. Alright. Okay, gotcha. Shaman was caught. So, the good thing is also we saw our trainer pop up in the um, battle initiation uh, screen, so that means that Shaman should have. A decent, decent set of IVs, I think. Yeah. So Shaman's data will be added to the Pokedex. It lives in common flower patches, but is rarely noticed. It is often mistaken for a flowering plant when curled up. This is the land form, Gratitude Pokemon, and uh, we won't give Shaman a nickname, but let's check it out in the box. And I, there's one more thing you can do uh, once you've caught Shaman. So let's hop over to. What is it again? Floroma Town, real quick, before we check Shaman in the box. Okay, flying away. Goodbye, Flower Paradise. Um, you guys probably may know this already, but we do have a event coming up in April 2022 for Dark Rise, so I will be covering that as soon as that is available. Just didn't get to cover this one because I was just so busy. Do you know about Gracidia Grisid uh, flowers? They're given as bouquets, bouquets. I forgot how to pronounce that! To express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. Okay, so maybe if we if we give uh, if we put Shaman in our party here, we will be able to get one of those Gracidia flowers. So I haven't gotten the move tutor uh no the, the judge function on the save file because Oh, there you go. If you have that Pokemon, then you should also have some Gracidia flowers. I've got a whole bunch, so you can have some. You obtain the Gracidia. And it's a key item as well. So basically, what it does is that you can change Shaman's form, which is really, really cool. So let's do that right now. I believe this is a temporary transformation. I could be wrong, but yeah, a flower sometimes bundle in bouquets, bouquets, whatever, to... Uh, convey gratitude on special occasions such as birthdays. I'm sorry for the butchering of the pronunciation. I can't believe I forgot how to pronounce that word. That's like the first word I've ever forgotten how to pronounce. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, let's use that item. I'm a shaman. And it turns into Skyform Shaman. Yeah, alright, so now we can check out Shaman again. Let's go and take a look at the summary. So there we go, Shaman, Kelpie G at level 30 in a net a nest ball. Pretty relaxed. So the, the nature can be soft reset at uh, Faithful Encounter when it was level 30, clinging from the Flower Paradise. And yeah. Alrighty, so that is Shaman. Make sure to go catch it or at least get Oak's Letter. You don't actually have to catch Shaman during the event duration because as a key item, you can basically just make sure you get a key item and go and catch Shaman soft reset for shiny if you wanted to and yeah it's really up to you so where is oh yeah Shaman so I'm gonna put Shaman back into the box and this is the end of this video and the next BDSP video as I earlier alluded to we will be covering the Darkrai event so they will be distributing the members card I think 
it's called. But yeah, uh, once that happens, we'll put up a video for that, catching Darkrai at, um, what was it again? New Moon Island? Or Full Moon Island? I think it's New Moon Island. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, town map. So this is... Wait, no, this is just Iron Island. Never mind. Okay, let's just wait for the event to come up and I'll talk more about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep right here on the Daily Porygonian. Until the next one, see you guys later. Bye!